it's funny how we understand ourselves, isn't it? I was talking to someone just the other day, in fact, this past Monday, about the fact that I am an uncluttered kind of person. I'm one of those place for everything and everything in its place sort of folks. One of those people that when you don't have a use for something, you could find somewhere to put it away. Then I walked into my office after having had this conversation and I looked at my desk and it was a terrible sight to behold, which meant Monday morning was me cleaning up behind having just gotten through Sunday, having been away last week, and just kind of letting things accumulate all over my desk. But I want to tell you something. Before lunch, my desk looked wonderful. Today is Wednesday morning, and I'm afraid that I still haven't learned my lesson. Because when I walked in this morning, I realized my desk is just as cluttered as it has ever been. There's lots of materials there, a couple of Bibles, some notes I've made for uh, this coming Sunday. It's just kind of, I've allowed things to accumulate. Do you ever do that in your life? Do you ever find that things accumulate, feelings, struggles, problems, and then suddenly things that were not that important become sort of overwhelming? We need a place to put it away, and thankfully, the Lord's given us that place. In 1 John 5, 7, the Bible simply says, Casting all your cares upon Him, because He cares for you. We can place our cares on Christ, and He'll handle things. We can trust Him. You can trust Him. Let's trust Him today and cast our cares on the Savior. Pray with me. Father, we thank you that we can cast our cares on you. That, Lord, when things begin to clutter up our lives, accumulate struggles and concerns and worries and fears, that, Lord, we don't have to allow those to, to clutter our lives. Instead, help us, Father, to cast our cares on you and to know you are always sufficient in everything. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.